Hugs. We're here with Atsuko Okatsuka. We'll be taping her Hulu special on November 9th at El Capitan. <laughs> Dylan Adler, who will be performing in San Francisco at the Independent <laughs> Theater on October 23rd. And Reggie Watts, whose special Nevermind is available on Veeps. <laughs> And now for the deep talk show portion question. Reggie, what's the weirdest thing you've ever done to impress somebody? Well, back when I was a, a child, um, <laughs> when I was 16 years old, I wanted to impress um, a girl that I thought would be really fun to go out with. Mm. And um, I was at her house, and they had a balcony, two stories, balcony in the back that was on the second story, and they had a trampoline down below. So. <laughs> So I clumb onto the, the trampoline, and I bounced, and I started bouncing, and I got pretty good at being about her head height every time that I came up. <laughs> so, oh. so every time I bounced up, I would say like, hey, I think you're cute. I Aww. think Aww. I love you. And I love. That was it. Wow. That was it. Wait, did it work? Yeah. I know, I know. It should have not, but it did. <laughs> <laughs> All right, great. We got one serious question out of the way. It's time for Couch Game. Yeah. Finally. Finally, Couch Game. <laughs> Before the show, I asked our panelists to bring in something they've seen on the internet that fits tonight's challenge, something that your grandma would never understand. <laughs> Dylan, you're first. What did you bring in that your grandma would never understand? This is a video of what someone did to impress their partner. Oh, hey. Oh, nice. Let's see. Yeah. Today, I am popping up 7,000 pop sockets all at once. It is taking me a full three hours to do every single one of them. I covered the entire floor of my workshop with them to make a huge pop walkable fidget surface, but I'm not the one that gets to stomp them and sit on them and roll around until they're all popped down. I'm doing this as a surprise gift for my girlfriend so she gets the joyous, stress relieving experience of 7,000 pops. Ow, my hands. But now I get to go surprise her. I will post her reaction tomorrow. I swear to God, I will not date anyone else until they do that for me. That's, yeah. that's the best thing I've ever seen in my life. Why did you pick this? Why would your grandma not get it? I know she'd just be like, what happened to flowers? <laughs> <laughs> what happened to dinner at Red Lobster? <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> Imagine doing this at the Great Depression. Like that's, <laughs> you have to see it from her perspective. <laughs> also, my grandma's white. That's, that's the voice. That explains yeah. it. Thank you. That explains it. When yeah. you said impressing a partner, I thought it was going to be someone jumping on a trampoline. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Saying uh -huh. a word every time. Between it's that video Reggie. and Reggie's story, I'm going to die alone. My standards <laughs> have been raised so much just from those two anecdotes. Holy yeah. All right, Reggie. Reggie, you're up next. Yes. What did you bring in? I brought in a video. Would you like to set it up at all, or should we just play it? <laughs> you don't have to. We can yeah. just play it. Well, it's a video that I don't think that my uh, grandmother would have liked. <laughs> OK, great. Let's see. Have you ever wondered why time only moves in one direction? It's a question that has puzzled scientists and philosophers for centuries. The answer may lie in the intriguing world of infodynamics, a fascinating branch of physics that deals with the flow of information in physical systems. This is not the flow of information as we know it, like sending a text message or reading a book. This is about how information moves and changes within the very fabric of the universe itself. Now, obviously, everyone here totally understands that. Yeah, yeah. But why would your grandma not understand it? Because uh, she was just more into like classic <laughs> physics and just like not really. She wasn't into like the experimental stuff, so right. I don't think uh, she right. probably just wouldn't be into it. Right, right, right. right. Yeah. More classic. More classic. More classic. Yeah. Yeah. Just a genius family. Yeah. I mean, I mean truly. Just, just curious people. Just curious yeah. people. Otsuko, your turn. What'd you bring in that your grandma wouldn't understand? Oh, I brought in something I think she would half understand, you know, and half enjoy. Uh, the rest, you know, is questions. Let's see it. <laughs> Let's look. 
They're eating the dogs. They're eating the cats. Eat the cat. Eat, eat the cat. They're eating the dogs. They're eating the cats. Eat the cat. Eat, eat the cat. Eat. So obviously, the dancing part, we all, it's universal. Dance is universal. The song is a bop. But the, <laughs> but the content of the song, if mm. she asks further questions, I would have to explain to her things like what an election is. <laughs> <laughs> or, that, or that all these people aren't all Dylan. <laughs> and that's confusing. Yes, they're not all me, but they are all my exes. Thank you. <laughs> That and, she would understand. And that she would get. That she would understand. Yeah. She has some former lovers, too. Yeah. yeah. OK, all three of those videos were amazing. I think Dylan's was my favorite, <laughs> which means Dylan gets 1,000 points. Yes. <laughs> eating the dogs. Well deserved. The, the cats. cats. Eating the, the dogs. dogs. Eating, eating the, the cats. cats. Uh, <laughs> that wasn't even your video.